Perfect. What's up, everyone? Welcome back to my channel. Mm -hmm. It's your girl, Matthews here, and I am here with one of my current um, clients in my mastermind. Her name is Brianna, and she has agreed to um, come on here and just answer a couple of questions that I feel like... Um, people who haven't worked with me before might have questions that um, clients who have inquired with me um, have had all of that good stuff. So Brianna, thank you so much for giving me your time and your energy and your mm -hmm. answers today. I want to start um, first off with a kind of basic question, but you know, with me, it's not going to mm -hmm. be basic. It's going to be like, <laughs> um, deep, deep in your psyche, but like, okay. In your words, we started working. Oh, sorry, we got to give a little bit more background. Brianna, we have known each other and been connecting for a while now, of course, through my business, but we officially really started um, working together in my mastermind in, was it September? Was it August? I think it was August you told me about it, and in September, I signed up for it, I think, like the beginning of September. September. No, we had to have started no, no, no. together. We it had to have been August because this is our third month of working. Oh yeah, yeah. I think I think you talked about it with me, like maybe the like early August. Okay, okay, yes, okay. So and then I did it with you, and then you have already on the third month. Right, right. Okay, so we've been working together. Our two months just ended. We just began our third month of working together. So it's only been um, two months of change and transformation, which now that you kind of like think about it, I'm kind of like, wow, I'm like, I've <laughs> changed a lot. Um, okay, so in your words, what was your life experience before we were working together versus after? Like, first thing that comes to mind, what would you say mm -hmm. has changed? Um, definitely I'll say what was changed was, um, addressing like the inner child stuff, because that was definitely something I didn't really like know about. And, you know, I mean, we talked about before, but like, I was definitely someone that like, I'm not very emotionally available, especially to myself. So I feel like working together has really made me like really sit down and learn to process my emotions and really, you know, see, instead of pushing it down, like confronting it more, instead of, you know, being afraid and just shutting down, I rather just sit there and actually like talk through my emotions yeah yeah and I think that that is so I think it's so amazing and I think it's really really huge because I remember mm -hmm. our first session together it was our first it mm -hmm. was our first session together and it was the first mastermind. Um, and so we were going through and we were doing storytelling because, you know, we do the three pillars, mm -hmm. storytelling, attunement, spirituality. And so as you were talking, I was writing down in my notes app, all of the stories and the thing that had come up um, for one of your biggest stories was like, my emotions are a burden and my emotions hinder me. And I don't have a good relationship with my emotions and I don't want to feel my emotions and I don't want to deal with my emotions. And so I do think mm -hmm. it's such um, a huge deal for you now, now to just be able to kind of like um, talk about things. And I don't want to get super duper like personal with it. Mm -hmm. You know, in conversations when we would like talk on Voxer a couple of weeks ago and it was kind of like that whole like you don't have to shame yourself for feeling these emotions or for feeling this way you know what I mean and that yeah. kind of just show up in in sessions and it does feel a lot more um freer so love that love that thank you for sharing that mm -hmm. okay so I want to I want to know I want to know what did you get or what are you experiencing working with me that you didn't anticipate, if anything? Okay, so what I didn't anticipate was, I mean, I knew it was kind of like, um, like, of course, we're going to address like, you know, inner child and emotions and all that. But like, what I didn't expect was like, you're going to read the fuck out of me. <laughs> like in, a <laughs> in a gentle way, though, like, I'm not saying like, you're mean about it. I'm saying yeah. like, you, you're able to say what I want to say but I can't say it sometimes uh -huh. or like what I'm thinking especially when we're doing the EFT tapping yeah. and you were like saying the script and like uh -huh. you literally described my whole life when I couldn't even do that <laughs> yeah so it's like I think your your ability to like 
really helped me face it. Not like a like a harsh way, but like yeah. you know, like a way that's like okay, like you're dealing with this and this. You're yeah. not like chastising me or anything. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Oh, that was such a good answer. I'm so grateful <laughs> um, that you that you gave that answer. And I think that that's so. Mm, that just makes me feel so good. I didn't expect to feel <laughs> this good. <laughs> hearing your your answers and your responses of course, of course not bad. it's not a bad thing but like you make me realize it in the, yeah yeah, yeah. And, and I appreciate that I appreciate that so much um okay so okay tell me in your perspective because I know that we we've had conversations where you know I'm always super duper I want everybody to go with their own flow and I want everybody to always mm-hmm. be tapped in and I never you know want people to feel like I'm forcing them to carry on with something right and so right now um in the membership what Brianna is experiencing is a month-to-month agreement that's what we have um and so you know I was remember we were talking and I was like if you um, stay on, like, you know, like in the future, we might not be working together or something. And you responded, I don't remember what you said word for word, but you basically were just like, Oh no, like I'm, I'm going to be back next month. And you know what I mean? Like, (laughs) so I said that. Yes. Yeah. So I want to know like your perspective before you were signing on and after because I know that there can be a little bit of hesitation I'm investing um, money in this so what kind of would you say shifted for you if anything shifted for you were you like when you first signed on I know for a fact that I am gonna be here you know signing on each month or in the beginning did you feel like it was like okay I'll try it out and like what shifted for you to being like okay no I'm definitely gonna be doing this again um, I'll say in the beginning, like before I sent for it, like I already said before in our box of conversation that I was already planning on working with you one day. Yeah. So I was like, I already know like when you're in my inbox and you're like, Oh, I have this membership that's going to be like month to month. And it's this amount. We meet this amount of times. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna do it. Like it wasn't even like, okay. I didn't have any hesitation about it. Cause like I was already planning to eventually yeah. do it. Okay. But then you came in my inbox, you came in my inbox and you were like, Oh, like, I've been thinking about this membership. Would you like to join? I was like, okay, fuck it. (laughs) It came in the right time, I guess. Yeah. Oh my God. I love that because that's not, that's not the answer that I was anticipating. And it was, (laughs) that was perfect. That was perfect. Okay. So has anything changed since then? Do you feel like, like even more confident in your decision and choice to sign on working with me? Like, has anything like that changed or you just still feel like, it's the same. Um, I don't think any has changed. Like I'm still adamant on still joining. Like I still want to keep yeah. doing it until I get to that point where I'm like, okay, like I think I could do things more on my own. Yeah. But for now, I'm fine doing it. Like I already said, like before, I was planning on doing it, and then you went in my inbox and you're like, oh, I'm planning for this membership, <laughs> and I was just like, okay, good timing, <laughs> sending. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. So I okay. think I already had like, I guess, good expectations before I even like did it because I was I remember I used to go on used to go on like IG live and like you had I think clients before and you were like talking to them on IG live yeah Yeah. and I was like oh it's just more confirmation like I never had like any hesitation about it okay I'm loving this okay so I'm gonna stop asking you questions because um I mean questions about that I guess so now (laughs) what (laughs) you're saying is like I'm so satisfied with this. I'm loving this. This is perfect. It's everything that I thought that it would be based off of things that you've seen on my social media. You felt like your expectations were met. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. I felt, I felt like it was just confirming it for me. Yeah. Okay. And do you feel like now working together in sessions, what you saw on social media, just a little bit of like feedback, Mm -hmm. do you feel like that was a good like what I post on social media, is that an accurate portrayal of what it's like working with me one-on-one? I'll say, yeah, that. And also like the emails you send about your blog posts. Yeah. I I usually read them too. And I feel like it matches, like it matches exactly what I was expecting. Yeah. Okay. Love that. Um, (laughs) Yeah. Like nothing's really like different. Like I didn't see like any discrepancy or anything. I was just like, Oh, it's just 
not. <laughs> like, <laughs> okay, perfect. Love it. Like, like it's exactly what I was yeah. looking for. <laughs> okay, perfect. Love it. Okay. So next question, what would you say you like the best if you had to choose one about working with me or maybe a change like what what do I like best about yeah um top of your head what do I like best about meeting is it the way that I answer questions it is is it the style that we do when we're meeting for the mastermind um I think it's the style and how you answer questions um and also like you always give examples and stuff like that which I'm very much like a visual person or I need examples to understand something yeah. so I feel like I, I feel like you really explain things pretty well yeah That's what, yeah I mean, yeah yeah okay and would you say like can you go into more detail about the way that I explain things like do you have an example or is that like um I don't really have an example, but I think just like when we talk in general, like you always have an example or you're always like, oh, <laughs> like, I think we were talking about um, like, like receiving and opening up. Like, I just feel like you explain it the way I need yeah. to be for it to be explained. I don't know. It's hard to explain it. <laughs> <laughs> but I just get, I get, I get it when you're, when you explain it, I get it. Yeah. I, Versus I if I go on like online or something or I'm asking somebody, like they might not be able to like, explain it the way you do. Yeah. Thank you. I'm in my own niche. Thank you. She's giving nine of pentacles. They can't explain it the way that I do. <laughs> like, for example, I was watching your YouTube, which I'm totally behind on because I wasn't getting notifications. But uh -huh. it was the one you recently posted about um, mirroring. Uh-huh. I was, I was watching that earlier, and like, I, felt, I liked how you explained about mirroring. Like, your world is your mirror. Yeah. Our, yeah. our people are our mirror. Like, I like how you explained it, basically. Yeah. Yeah. Before I want to understand it. Yes. Okay. Good, good, good. I like that. That makes me um, so happy. And I just love that we've decided <laughs> to sit and talk about how perfect and amazing and wonderful um, I am. So thank you <laughs> for your answers. Um, okay. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Okay. I asked you... Hmm. I want to know more about your experience. We do a lot of talking about tools, I think. Mm -hmm. and we have the YouTube playlist and we do EFT and we do all of these different things. Um, what are your favorite tools that I've been able to share with you or explain to you that you're now using on your journey? Um, I'll definitely say the EFT tapping. Because one, I didn't even know what that was. And then when we first, when we did it the first time, like it was like such an intense feeling. It wasn't like bad. Uh -huh. um, I did get emotional and all that. Yeah. But it wasn't, but I feel like it actually was like a release for me to like, uh -huh. you know, do the tapping. So I've been doing this a couple of times already. I also like the meditations. I always listen to it in the morning and I listen to it uh -huh. before I go to bed. Yeah. Um, I like those meditations. I don't know, it calms me down. Uh -huh. And um, I'll say, I'll say also like when we have our discussions, you're like, well, you know, like, y'all, it's just the examples you give me. I don't know what about the examples, <laughs> but it just helps me. It just helps me. Yeah, totally. So, totally. so it's like those things, like the ESC tapping, um, also just like sitting down in the session and talking about it and you doing, like you speaking to the guys and all that. Like, I just like it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. It's very comforting, I think. It's very comforting. Oh, thank you. I like that word. <laughs> comforting. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay. So I want to ask you, you can do a yes or no. You can go into more detail. Mm -hmm. Do you feel empowered when we work together? Yes. Um, an example I have is when, I think it was one of our first meetings. And I was, we were talking about like my business, stuff like that. And you're like, you asked me, oh, someone that's successful, how do they feel? But I answered it with, like, what are they doing? But then you were like, no, how do they feel? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know this. And then you were like, you went to that whole, like, it wasn't a rant. But it was like a spiel about, like, oh, when I wake up, I feel this way. And when I wake up, I feel this way. And I go over this way. And I don't know, just like how you said it. It was very yeah. empowering. It made me feel good. So Yeah. Yeah. 
I love- for me, remember, remember me, I was very literal. I was like, oh, they do this and this. And you're like, no, how do they feel? Yeah. <laughs> I was like, what? Ah. So, so it was like one of those, like those like type of moments we have where like, I feel like I'm talking to someone that's actually listening. Yeah. And you know, you do read me. But I feel like that's good because sometimes I do things subconsciously that I don't realize. Right. But you point, but you point it out. Right. So I, I appreciate that because a lot of times I don't feel like it's pointed out to me. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. And I really, really, um, I really appreciate that because on my end, I feel like a lot of people feel like, and you commented on my um, Instagram reel that I did about this. I feel like a lot of people feel like they can do their shadow work on their own and they yeah. can um, kind of do the work on their own. And I think that you can to some extent, like you have purchased my um, like creating your dream journal not the Mm -hmm. free gift one but the one the other one yeah right and so having had that experience and having had those tools like the work that we did in that session that you're talking about that's the pedestal work that's in the creating your dream journal Mm -hmm. but the work that we did in that session was i think a bigger breakthrough than what you experienced using the journal So would you say that there's a difference between free content online, DIY stuff, watching videos Mm -hmm. versus actually connecting in person in a session? I would say yes is a difference because I mean, how do I explain it? So it's like, for me, I know I'm a person that like, I like talking to people. Yeah. I like, I like conversation (laughs) and stuff like that. And I feel like doing it on your own. I mean, you probably can do it on your own. But I feel like after a while, in my experience, I couldn't do it alone after a while. Yeah. I couldn't, I couldn't like, I mean, yeah, I could watch videos and I could journal and all that, but it doesn't, I don't feel like it's the same thing. Yeah. Compared to someone that's maybe more experienced or will actually sit there and talk with you. Cause I feel like it's not really the same as talking to someone where you're just journaling and mm-hmm. a lot of techniques I feel like you can't find online. Yeah. Certain things you can't find online. Sure. And I feel like free content after a while is just like, is not really doing the same, I guess. Yeah. I feel like with anything, free content after a while, it's just not doing it. Yeah. And I definitely, I really appreciate what you said of like certain techniques you can't find online because (laughs) it's something that I love that you said and I appreciate it so much because everything that I've learned in all of this research, well, (laughs) Yes, it's come through online. It's come through books and different seminars and stuff like that. But it's come through my own research because I spend time on the daily listening to audiobooks and taking copious notes Mm -hmm. and doing all these things to be able to show up and give that information. Um, And so it's kind of a really beautiful point that I think you made without actually making, which is that. I'm doing a lot of the heavy lifting, self-healing work, sifting through all of the articles and watching the videos and extracting the value and what I understand Mm -hmm. and tweaking it in that way and bring able to bring it to you so that you don't have to spend time going over all of the free content in the world and you don't have to spend time looking for all of the different techniques and stuff. So I really, really appreciated um, that answer, all of your answer, of course. also specifically that that point. I think that that was really, really mm-hmm. good. Okay, so. Ooh, okay, no, I want to ask this question first. Okay. <laughs> if there's one word you could use to describe your experience working with me, what would it be and why? I would say if changing is a word, changing. Okay. Um, because I'll say before I started the mastermind, I will say like, I was probably that person. I was looking up all that free content. <laughs> I was looking at like all that free content and I was like looking up okay. and I feel like, I, and I feel like it was very overwhelming because uh-huh. you don't know where to, you don't know where to really look at sometimes. Yes. So you're just like overwhelmed with all this information and you're just like, okay, what do I do? And I also, I feel like, you know, just relying on yourself. Mm-hmm. We talked about my hyperdependence. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> and I and I and I feel like the mastermind has helped me kind of like work with that, work against it, maybe like um, having someone that could you know 
express certain things too. I don't have to like sit there and be like, oh, I have to figure out on my own or I have to do this on my own. Yeah. So I think it's like that. Yeah. Yeah. So for me, I feel like it's empowered me in the way to be like, okay, you don't, you don't, you could rely or you could give faith to someone else and they could try yeah. to help you and stuff like that. So I feel like yeah. for me, it's changing because for me before I would not do that. <laughs> really good oh that's so good and I think that that's such a a common theme that I've seen across my um clients is people who are very hyper independent and I have to be able to do this on my own and then we work together and they're allowing themselves to receive help and love and I just love it it's amazing okay so let's see what else do I want to ask okay so we kind of talked a little bit about I think I asked about kind of how have things changed life before versus life after you talked a little bit about your relationship with your emotions your inner children I want to know has your perspective kind of of life of the world that we live in can you tell us a little bit about how your perspective maybe of your potential of your business in general the possibilities how has that changed Mm -hmm. um for me I would say I was very I mean I saw my moments but I was very um maybe like pessimistic Uh uh-huh and very like oh life is this way and life is this way and I have to figure it out on my own. I have to do this and this on my own. <laughs> uh-huh. So I feel like, I feel like, um, after I, I feel like it's more positive. I'm more aware of what's going on in, in terms of like my emotions. Like I'm like, if I'm anxious, like for some reason, my mind is just like not anymore hiding from it. My mind is just like, Oh, why are you anxious? And I'm like, Oh, that's a change. <laughs> Uh, or like like for example if I'm having like anxiety I'm like okay why am I having anxiety oh because this this, and this like I actually like my mind kind of works different now and kind of like picks up on certain things now but when before I want to be aware of that I'll just be like oh just bury it (laughs) yeah not yes to bury it in the past of course but yes to that greater amount of awareness oh that's so that's so good that's so yeah. juicy. I, I'm in love with that answer. Um, I'll, I'll say more awareness, more awareness of like what's, what's going on inside. Yeah. Yeah. Woo! Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we literally tackled storytelling, stories you've been telling yourself, changing those stories, hyper independence, allowing yourself to receive help. We talked about a two mm-hmm. which is that awareness of my needs, really learning to reparent yourself, take care of yourself. Ah! <laughs> then, <laughs> okay, I guess I want to talk a little bit about spirituality. So we have all of our bases covered. So mm-hmm. do you feel like, I just want to throw that out there. Spirituality, how has your spirituality changed your relationship with your inner being, your soul, the universe, whatever, how has that changed over the course of our working together? Um, how has that changed? Um, I think for spirituality, I think, um, well, my spirituality journey kind of started like two years ago after I got out of certain situations and I was just like, oh, like, let me tap back into that. Uh-huh. Um, Cause I grew up on it, but I didn't, I wasn't really like paying attention to it. Yeah. Um, I'll say more has changed. Um, I'm more into like tarot. <laughs> I'm really into tarot now, like even uh-huh. more than before. Yeah. Um, very into like the journaling. But when I was journaling before, I feel like I was just like not really tap into what I was just like talking, but like not really talking to myself. And I wasn't really like asking myself, okay, like what's wrong yeah. or why are you feeling this way? So yeah. I feel like, again, with the awareness, like I'm more in tune with like how I'm feeling and my emotions more than yeah. before. When before I used to just bury it and just be uh-huh. like, oh, it's the, the burden thing. Like feeling like, yeah. oh, uh, me feeling this way is a burden or me doing this is a burden or me having needs is a burden. Uh-huh. So I feel like now I'm more tapping into, okay, like I'm on this world, I'm in this world for a reason, right? And, yeah. <laughs> and I, have, I have my needs and my desires and I deserve it because, you know, I'm here that's it (laughs) like I don't need like a reason to validate that I guess yeah is what I'm realizing (laughs) yeah absolutely and what I love about everything that you just said is that if we were to water it down and take it to the baseline 
everything that you just said about your spirituality and how has that changed. You talked about your emotions. You basically talked about when you're tapping into your emotions, when you're gaining that awareness, you're mm -hmm. recognizing where you are on the emotional guidance scale yeah. and you are choosing to feel better and better and better. And then as you feel better, you step into the receiving mode to be able to receive mm -hmm. your desires. Um, and so we are talking a lot about manifestation, but we're talking about emotions and the further that you get into your emotions, the more connected you get to your intuition. And what I loved that you said was, um, you're talking about receiving and you said, I'm here for a reason and I deserve to have my wants and my desires, like just because I'm here, just because I exist. And that is a very, it's a feminine thing to say. It's uh, recognizing your inherent worthiness. And it's such a huge spiritual concept because we live in a hyper masculine society yeah. that's telling you the complete opposite. And that you have to go harder and that you have to do more and that you aren't worthy and deserving and all of this other stuff. Yeah. And so I love that they guided me to just say, put it out there, spirituality, instead of asking specifically about something, because I never would have thought to ask you about that and to receive that answer of tapping further into your femininity than ever before and allowing yourself to receive because ultimately that's that's what we are wanting we're wanting to mm -hmm. allow ourselves to receive more love in terms of romance but love in terms of getting our needs met and getting the money that we want and getting or allowing in the money that we want and allowing in the homes that we want and allowing in the experiences that we want and that's really what we're talking about we're talking about the law of attraction it's it's super mm -hmm. fun -based. so i love that and i appreciate that answer we're going to wind it down um on a bit let's say um next question that i want to ask is would you recommend this to other people Yes, because I feel like it's actually worth it. Like, <laughs> why wouldn't you do it? I feel like for me, <laughs> like, why wouldn't you do it? Like, you, you show it on Instagram, and you show, like, you have the YouTube. That's how I really got into it was, like, YouTube. Uh-huh. Um, when I first started watching your videos, and you were talking about, you had, you had your tarot readings, and you were talking about, you know, all these different things. And I was just like, okay. I like what she's saying. <laughs> it just, it just, it just, it just resonated with me really well. So yeah. I think that's what, I think for me, it just resonates a lot. Yeah. I was just, my, my soul was like, okay, she's it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> she's it. <laughs> that's literally, that's about to be my new tagline. So, so yes, I think it's worth it. I think the membership is worth it because as I said, like a lot of things you can't really do on your own. I mean, sure, you could eat up all the free content and everything, but I feel like it doesn't compare to someone that's, you know, doing the research and experiencing them themselves too. And you could get with them. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, I appreciate that answer. Okay. <laughs> so, um, let's see. Let's see. Oh, okay. I want to know this question and I, you can be honest. Do you feel like the trajectory of your life, which this is like, so this is so huge of a question. Do you feel like the trajectory of your life and the path that you've been going down or the way that you feel about the life that you want to create for yourself? Do you feel like that's different since we've been working together? Um, you mean in terms of like how I saw before and after, like maybe wow, I think we'll go. Yeah, like Mike, okay, if I'm like my dream and my goal is to be the CEO of a Fortune 500 company, and I know that I want that, but I'm probably not going to do that, and I'm probably going to have to do something else and be someone else. But then I run into Natalie, and we're working mm -hmm. together, and now I feel like, oh wait a second, my dreams of being the CEO of this billion dollar company are are realer than ever before would you say that that's been your experience i would say yes i feel like it's becoming i guess more real because i mean we've only been working for like three months and i already feel like my life has changed <laughs> but like faster than i thought yeah because like 
I thought it would take like all me like oh I'll be like oh like it would take me years and years and years to like feel this way or do this thing and I feel like it's moving a little bit quicker than I expected I mean in a good way yeah <laughs> uh, <laughs> <She's> like, <"Slow> <laughs> <down>. <laughs> uh, I think in a good way like I'm not saying like I'm saying it's, it's going better than I expected or I, I'm seeing changes faster than I expected like I thought like I'll be someone that's like oh I'm taking years and years and years to do this yeah but it's really only taking me like a couple weeks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was it. That was the tagline for this video. <laughs> I thought it was going to take me years, but it only took me a couple of weeks, period. Yeah. Oh my God. That was so good. Okay. So I feel like, yeah. So I feel like it, what I desire and want feels more real because I am working yeah. through and discussing with you. And also I feel like things are moving faster than I expected, but in a good way. I thought, again, like, it'll take me, like, years and years and years to just get to a certain point, but I feel like I'm moving a little bit quicker than I expected. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you so much for that, <laughs> answer. Um, I think that that's the last question that I have for you. Is there mm -hmm. anything that you felt like, oh, I wanted to say this, but I didn't get a chance. Is there any last comments, concerns that you want to put out there before you close it out? Um, no, I don't have any questions, but I'll say it's definitely worth doing. Cause again, I said like my changes, I didn't expect the changes that I'm dealing with to come so quickly. I, again, I thought it was somebody that's going to take forever, but that's if I decided to just be hyper independent <laughs> and just like, you know, depend on myself. I feel like it is worth the quote unquote risk to work with someone like Natalie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> quote unquote, but it's not really a risk. It's not a risk. Right. <laughs> You heard it here first, folks. I'm perfect. I'm perfect. <laughs> I exceed the expectations. <laughs> it's worth the investment. Um, okay. Thank you so much, Brianna, for your time. You're welcome. For your answers, for your honesty, for your transparency, for kind of talking about your journey in the middle of it. And I'm so happy and I'm so grateful that we got to be able to do this because I think that it's one thing when we have testimonies from clients who have been through a program, you know, and they've already reached the goals, but to be connecting with you who was hitting the little mini goals in the middle and just seeing how um, your life has changed over such a short period of time. I think it's so important that we also have this mm -hmm. reported and girl, in like a million years, well, not a million years, but like in a couple of years, we're going to be on Zoom mm -hmm. having a freaking chat and you're going to be like, oh yeah, just here in my kitchen <laughs> in Korea and I'm going to be like, oh my God, who would have thought that you were going to be in a kitchen in Korea except you're we're both going to say, well, the universe would have thought and we thought because we knew the entire time. And I'm just so excited for us to get to that moment and that day. And I'm really excited um, that I can say that with confidence because mm -hmm. I literally am experiencing it with one of my clients that I um, started working with a year ago. She just got like, She's in this whole new segment oh of life, stuff that we were just vision casting, things that were fantasies a year ago. So I'm so mm -hmm. excited to see your change and your transformation and all of that amazing stuff. So thank you so much for your time. You're welcome. And I'm going to close this out here. I will talk to you later. And for everyone okay. else who is um, watching over on YouTube, don't make fun of me because my glasses, I'm in between glasses right now. The queen is, I'm not struggling. I'm just, I'm just in the middle of a manifestation, okay? Um, and living with very loud dogs. So... Um, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah. Links in the description if you want my free gift, my guided um, creating your life journal. If you want to work with me, you can come join my mastermind or you can come work with me one-on-one. -on -one. The links to do all of that are in the description box and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.